Okay, let's take a quick look at the Shortel communicator for Macintosh. It looks a bit like the uh, personal communicator in the browser mode, but it is in fact a FAT client. Uh, you install it through a DMG, uh, download it from the Shortel headquarters server, much the way you do the Windows uh, communicator, and um, it's reminiscent of both the browser and the Windows based system. Uh, you can size and shape it, move it around, do all that good stuff. Just have it set up here so we can film it. Go over here and select, um, let's split this either vertically or horizontally. I'm going to split it uh, horizontally. And then we can go ahead and add uh, our voicemail tab. And we can add our history tab. Uh, there is a call details tab that will enable you to um, append a note, for example, to the details of a call. There is no um, IM capability with this communicator, and there is no presence information. So those tabs that you might find in Windows will be missing here. Uh, voicemail works pretty much the way you would expect it to. Uh, highlight it, uh, call the contact, hit the green play button, and uh, your phone will switch on and play the message. History is just your typical um, list of uh, calls made in and out. Again, able to add a call note, save it. Uh, your primary phone, a concept uh, in Shortel that enables you to select what will be my primary phone when someone calls my extension. It does not have to be your desk phone. It can be your desk phone, but it, you could also set it to be your uh, cell phone, for example, so that an incoming call to your desk would ring your cell phone. You can configure additional phones. You'll see here uh, up to five different uh, possible phones. Uh, you have options here to uh, set uh, how you want uh, the system to respond when you get a phone call. Do I press 1 to answer? How many rings? Things like that. Uh, your incoming call routing is set up here uh, for each of your call handling modes. Your find me, follow me, um, whether you're going to have a first and a second uh, option. You have your different call handling modes here, and this is where you would go to set up basically the form for in a meeting out of the office. It's, it's all the same. You're just associating it with a different uh, call handling mode. So <clears throat> you can record your greeting here for that call handling mode. Uh, you can determine whether calls are forwarded or not based on uh, always or when there's no answer. Typically, this will be set to go to voicemail. Um, you can set up your personal operator. So each uh, call handling mode, by the way, can have a different greeting and a different personal operator. So when someone uh, gets in your mailbox, they dial zero. Uh, they can speak to another member of your team, not necessarily the receptionist, but perhaps someone else in your work group. Uh, you can associate this with uh, different uh, automated uh, call handling modes based on Microsoft Outlook, for example. Uh, you have your voicemail set up here. You can, in fact, uh, uh, re-record your name, set up your password, set up whether um, WAV files are be delivered as email. You have speed dial. Um, I always have dial a prayer. I'd love to send people to dial a prayer. Uh, telephony, whether we're going to suppress call waiting and whether I want dial tone hammering away in my ear when I've got a headset on and no active phone call. That's where you go to change all this stuff. A customization for uh, how dates and times appear and background colors, things like that ilk. Um, it's uh, a very usable uh, interface. It uh, gets the job done. Like I say, it's missing. Um, I am capability and it does not provide presence information. Other than that, it works pretty much like uh, uh, any other. Uh, this looks like it could be presence information right here, but you don't have a tab, right? So um, this is your active call. Just go ahead and 
put something in there and it'll go ahead and uh, dial out. So, I hope you found this informative and I thank you for viewing.